In the previous video we have implemented our randomization of the output that we have generated and now we have some idea how we can tweak our else system to output us a random uh, generated town. In this video we are going to instantiate prefabs instead of those lines. There are two ways we can uh, start. We will need to duplicate the code from Simple Visualizer. We have created Simple Visualizer to show how we can uh, work with our L system, but basically now it is useless. But I will open it up, copy the code, and create a new C -sharp class called Visualizer. Okay, and I'm going to open up the simple Visualizer. Okay, I'm going to copy whole code from here. We do not need to copy the enum, and we do not need to copy the draw line, but uh, we are going to copy the Visualize sequence, start, and all the parameters. Let's copy this. And you can just refactor this simple visualizer if you do not need it. I'm going to go back to Unity. Okay. Open up the visualizer script. Okay. Delete everything from here, but leave it as a mono behavior. And I'm going to paste the code here. Now I will need to Alt Enter on encoding letters and be using uh, my namespace to import it. Now I need to also import using system collections generic because of my template for the scripts, but basically that's it. The code should be working beside the draw line function, which we are going to delete. And we need to leave the comment here because we want to call something else here. So for now, the code will be the same and we are not going to be instantiating the prefabs here. We are going to create a helper classes to do that. So let's go back to Unity. Okay, we can disable the simple visualizer and we are going to create a new game object called visualizer. Great. We can drag our visualizer here. We will need the L system here. We don't need those two fields. We will delete them uh, in a minute. But now we will need to create a new C -sharp class so let's create a C-sharp class. Let's call it road helper. Okay, great. And what we will do with it, we are going to create a new game object in our hierarchy. Let's call it road helper. And let's drag our script onto this game object. And let's open up the road helper script. Okay, great. Now what we will need to do here is create public game object because we will use multiple game objects here. We will need a road straight prefab. We will need road corner, a road three-way, a road four-way, road and and I believe that's it. Now beside that what we will need to have is a dictionary that will store the positions and the game object so we can delete those game objects in case we want to regenerate our map. In this tutorial we are going to implement a button to regenerate our creation. So let's create a dictionary and I need to alt enter and be using system collections generic and this will be a dictionary of type vector3 but now vector3 int and game object. Now we need to use vector3 int because we are going to use uh, to see if the dictionary contains a position and uh, we cannot really precisely compare floats so comparing two vector3s might yield false results but we can certainly compare integers and vector3 int uses integers instead of floats. So Oh, let's call it road dictionary and let's create a new dictionary great now what we will need to create as well is a hash set and this will be a hash set of, again of type vector 3 int and let's call it fix road candidates equals new hash set so basically at some point we will need to deal with the issue where we place our prefab 
but then we add neighbors to it. And if we have placed a straight road and then added another road to it, then the prefab will need to change to be a corner or maybe even a three-way road. So we need to fix some parts of our road after we create the whole road to have a, a, an appropriate prefab in this space. And that's why we need the fixed road candidate hash set because we are going to add some candidate roads so the first one and the last one from creating our line and then we will go through each of those in this hash set and check if we need to change the prefab of those uh, in those points but this we will implement in the next video for now let's focus on spawning the road prefabs in fields where there was a line before so we will need to create some methods for now let's just spawn a single uh, prefab in places where we need to place our road so let's create a public void place streets positions or place street positions or maybe place street at positions and what we need to pass here is vector 3 start position the same what we have passed to our line render start position but now we are going to pass a direction instead of the, the end position so vector 3 int direction and we are going to pass the length okay now here we are going to first create the basic rotation so bar rotation equals quaternion dot identity and we will change the rotation to rotate our prefabs to match the direction that the road is following but for now it will be just the identity so we will need to have the rotation to rotate our prefabs according to how our road leads so to easily change it we are going to see if direction dot x is equal to zero because our prefab is pointing in the x direction so if we are not moving in the x direction we will set our rotation to be equal to quaternion from euler and we are going to say zero rotated by 90 degrees or on y axis and zero on z axis so this will rotate our road prefab to follow the road if we are going in the z direction okay so we will see the output in a minute but we will need to now create our prefabs so let's call for and we're going to say for i equals zero i less than our length i plus plus so this is suitable for grid type of placement because we are looping through integers and that is useful for our implementation now we are going to calculate the position so var position equals vector 3 int and we are going to say round to int start position plus direction times i because that's the parameter for for our loop okay so now we have the next position for our road and what we can do now is to simply call var road equals instantiate we're going to say road straight position and our rotation and we can set the parent to be transform to place all the newly created game objects under this road helper game object in our hierarchy and we have this dictionary that we have created here so we would like to add our road to our dictionary so road dictionary add our position which is vector 3 int and our road but there will be an issue because when we create one road we start from some position and go forward and place at each position from zero up until the length the prefab but now we can usually start from the same position twice when we are rotating to one to go one direction and maybe to go straight forward and another direction 
So that's why we need to previously check before we cal uh, we place our road. We need to check if our road dictionary contains key position. And if it does, we do not need to place here another prefab, so we need to call continue. Now we are adding to this dictionary because later we will need this dictionary to access it to find places where we can place our buildings. But for now, we are going to simply do that and we are going to say that our suspects that will maybe need to be changed are if i equals zero, so the starting position, or if i equals length minus one. So in this, in this cases, I will assume that those might need fixing. So at the end, we will need to place end road instead of the straight road to finish the road. So we are going to add the position to this hash set. And later we are going to loop through this and we are going to fix those positions. But for now, this should work fine. Now, what we are spawning here is road straight and it should have a correct rotation. So let's go back to Unity. One thing that we need to do is go to our road helper and assign prefabs. So we can assign all those prefabs, although we are not using them. We can lock this using this lock here up in the corner of this inspector. And now we can start dragging the road corner where there is road corner, three way where there is three way, four way road when there is four way road, road straight, and we have road end. Great, we can unlock the inspector now. Let's save this, but we still are not calling the method from our road helper. So let's go to our visualizer. Let's open the script. Okay, and what we need to do here, I said we can uh, delete the prefab and line material, and instead we can create public road helper, road helper. Okay, we will assign it through the inspector. Now we can, we need to call this somewhere. So I said before that we have marked a space where we have called the draw line. So instead of here, we are going to call road helper. And we are going to call a method uh, that we have implemented, which was, I think, place street position. And what we will need to pass here is our temp position, our direction. And what else? We need to pass the length. Now, of course, we need to recalculate the current position. So this will, be, this will stay. But now the direction should be a vector 3 int. So what we need to do here is call vector 3 int. Dot round to int. And we are going to pass the direction. Now, we are doing this only because uh, we need to find the rotation for our road. We could as well call this inside our place street position when we get the direction. So we could call it just before we check the x value and probably this would be a better way to code this. But anyways, we should now go back to Unity. Okay, and we are missing the road helper reference. So let's drag it here. Okay, and we should be able to create everything now. So let's play. And we have something that re resembles a road. And this looks pretty decently. Parts of the roads are rotated correctly. And now we can see those spots. And we can see that this should be changed into a three-way road. And this will, we will have to deal with it in the next episode. For now, you can play around with this. And now it should create your a different types of roads that only requires a minor tweaking that will take us a lot of, a lot of time to implement. But anyways, let's implement the fixing the road in the next video.